that's a pretty cool shot right there, I think. Hey, look, I'm wearing my YouTube shirt. Some altitude to shut it up. Hit my waypoints. Okay, so what we want to do, I'm going to aim that at the computer because I don't care to see that. What I want to do is I'm going to hit this, uh, the controller button, and we're going to do waypoints, okay? Uh, that shows where I live. I don't want that either. There's all kinds of cool things. So this is where I was at this morning filming. And I am going to show you just how I did it. So I was parked right here. I'm going to set all these waypoints and show you how to do that. And then I'm going to go and fly this route. We're going to save it and then we're going to refly the route. So right here is waypoint one. Now when you click on that waypoint, it says 160 feet, right? I'm going to scroll down and it's going to come down to six feet. Let's start this at, oh dear. It's trying to the home it. point has been updated. Please check it on the map. It took me away, took me to my house, which is not where I'm going to be flying because airspace issues, but I found that perfect little spot outside the airspace. Zooming in again, I don't want to be at six feet, I want to take it up. So I'm going to take it around eh, 10 feet, close to it anyways, there's nine. Hit OK. Um, and let's take it over here, here's waypoint two, I don't want 160 feet. Let's take it to 20 feet, 22 feet, 19 feet will work. Shoot. And then from there, I want to kind of fly down this little road to the canal. So there's waypoint three. Waypoint three, I want to drop it down to, well, let's say 41 feet's good. That's cool. I don't have a heartbeat, so my fingers don't work on telephones or this very well. Now, I just want to parallel this, so I'm going to make just a few waypoints. Maybe I'll fast forward it so you don't have to hear me. Okay, now I've got all these waypoints built. It's kind of like a little teardrop pattern to fly around this little spot in the desert that is legal to fly in. Now what I can do, I saved it by hitting that. If I hit this, the little three dots I can do save as. I can save task, I go to the task library, and here's all my flight plans that I've built, okay? What I actually want to do right now is get some fingers that actually work for doing this kind of thing. I'm gonna go to root settings, uh, actually before that, just point of interest, okay? Um, over here is Red Mountain. This is just a cool, kind of iconic mountain that you can see nicely. So I've got those back to my three dots, root settings, uh, polyline. Uh, let's see, let me touch the iPhone and get that to maybe show. Well, that says polyline or arc. Polyline is just a straight line. 
between each point. Arc is kind of curved and a little smoother. Oops, bumps the old thing there. When the task is finished, return to home. That's what I want. Lose the signal, continue task, all waypoint direction. When we look at it, come on now. Each of these, like look at the number two here. It's kind of got a little teardrop. It's pointing towards number three. Number seven is pointing towards number eight, right? That's the direction the camera is pointing. So right now it's just pointing to the next waypoint. What I want to do So right here So for each of these, let me go back to number 1. Now we're going to start with number I'll just zoom in. Okay, so my number 1 waypoint. You click on that and you can do the speed, the direction, the gimbal pitch, and the camera action, point of interest. So right now, when I select point of interest, I wanna select one. Now watch the little uh, teardrop. Right now it's pointing that way. It's gonna turn a little to the left to aim at that point of interest. So now, at point one, it's going to aim the camera at the point of interest. Camera action, I want it to start recording. So right there, um, that's good. Gimbal towards the uh, point of interest, that's what I want. And altitude, 54 feet, I do not want it that high. Uh, waypoint one, so I'm gonna drop it down to Let's say 20 feet. Okay. So that's got that saved, right? Um, now, what I want to do, I did this earlier and it's driving me nuts that I don't have it now. Waypoint. Two is now going to aim also at the point of interest and the camera action is none it's still going to be recording okay so hit save there now that's kind of cool there's a faster way man I have got to invest in some fancy gloves or something that simulate a heartbeat it is that makes these things work. When I hit point of interest, now I can change this, okay? So my point of interest, I wanna link waypoint one and two, it's aimed at the point of interest. I don't know why it's in Chinese or Japanese. That's Chinese actually, I believe. Right there's number three, number four, number five. Six, seven, and eight, okay? So now all, all eight of my waypoints are linked to the point of interest. I hit okay, come back down to my route, and you can see all of the arrows are pointing at the point of interest. So it's just gonna kind of fly this arc and come back to me, recording the, uh, the mountain there the whole time, okay? So now, when I do save task over here, I'm gonna do save as, oops, fat fingered it. I'll just go to this. This is my, uh, my task, right? And it, right here, it's hard to see, there's a little pin and a, a flat thing. You can edit it if you've got really nice fancy fingers. So I'm gonna delete all that, and I'm just gonna call this um, Red Mountain One. Red Mountain One, that's called Red Mountain over there, okay? And should just be done. I'm gonna hit load. So that is my Red Mountain One. Whenever I go back to this, it will save 
I can pull up my task. Oops. Go to my task library. And I have Red Mountain 1. All I have to do is hit load. And it will automatically load that up anytime I want. So I'm at home in my kitchen. I go, I program this out the way I want. And then I drive out to where it is and I can launch the thing and it'll fly, it'll record, it'll do everything I need and want. Uh, there are some things I am noticing. My altitudes are off. So I'm gonna chain check that. I've got 19 feet, 19 feet, 48 feet at three. 102 feet. I guess it was just the scaling made it hard to read. So 80 feet at 5, 48 feet at 6, and then it comes back to me. 19 feet and then uh, down to 6 feet and it's going to land right wherever I launch it. That's going to be its new home spot. That's how you do these. Let's go record that. I'm going to launch it and record it on the uh, few different ways here. I'm going to make a few different videos all at the same time and uh, show you how it goes. So when we get there, I'm going to turn this all off. When we get out to the site, well, I'll just show you, but all you got to do is hit go and then it's going to verify everything that you want it to do. Um, at this point, all you'd have to do is hit start and it'll, it'll go do what you want. We're going to stop the video here. Try to pick up over and launch this baby. We've got that record going. Three seconds. Got that record going from the drone. Now I'm gonna go flying. Okay, so it knows the home point. Get up there so it shuts up. And now, I go into my special flight mode, my waypoint. Task library, and we made our red mount one right there at the top, right? So that's all loaded, it loaded up that quick. And now, I just hit go, and... Okay, so there it's at its first waypoint. 